Hi, good day to everyone. Today, I thought of discussing about the amazing Python programming language, which has become worldwide talking point in software industry. You know that, Python has become the most popular and adventurous programming language in the world today, and also has become the fastest growing programming language amongst the beginners. Python is so user friendly and easy to work, thus makes many to think that it is used only by average software industry beginners and others who are interested in programming work as a hobby. But we need to believe that, over 50% of data scientists and machine learning developers around the world use Python as machine learning language, when other languages like C, C++, Java, JavaScript, and R, too are available in the industry. Python is an interpreted, high-level, general-purpose programming language. Its basic nature of design improves code readability with the use of friendly indentation. Python language generates its object-oriented approach to help programmers write clear and logical codes for large and small-scale projects. Nowadays, almost all industries use software applications for its main operations. Other industry professionals such as mathematicians, engineers, scientists, accountants, and many other professionals too like to have some knowledge on software applications and prefer Python over other languages for its easy to learn and easy to work conditions. Sato von Rossum, founder of the Python language, started working on it and developed it in 1989 as a successor to the ABC programming language developed by CWI, a company in Netherlands. ABC is also a general purpose programming language in use from 1987. But due to its inability to adopt to the new requirements, such as creating a GUI, that is, graphical user interface, Fun Rossum, who was working at CWI at that time, developed this amazing high level programming language to release its first version in 1991 as Python 0.9.0. Many then thought that there is some connection with the snake Python, with the name of the programming language Python, but it was not. Fun Rossum was reading the published scripts from Monty Python's Flying Circus, a BBC comedy series, while he was searching for an adventurous name for his new invention. He was attracted to the name Python, that was short, unique, and somewhat unconventional too, so decided to go ahead and call the language Python. Python 2.0 was released in 2000 with new features, such as list comprehensions and a garbage collection system using reference counting. Garbage collection is deleting of unwanted objects in memory slots which are no longer in use and freeing up those spaces for new objects. Further, Python 3.0 was released in 2008 and many opted to go with it, mainly because most of the new libraries are compatible with version 3 only. Automating of many boring and repetitive jobs can be done with Python programming. If you have to download websites, copy files and folders, and paste them on a different file location, sort pictures and rename them continuously, you probably need to learn Python for your own convenience. You can easily do away with it, and save your time with a small Python program, converting a bored working place into a satisfying and productive environment. This is how Python has become so popular among the people who are not software developing professionals. Python can be used for many areas like AI that is artificial intelligence, machine learning, data analytics, data visualization, programming applications, web development, game development, financial systems, SEO, that is search engine optimization, graphic design applications, etc. Python developers are in demand across a wide range of fields mentioned above. Further, there is a demand for those with Python skills too, who are still in their learning process. Whether you're a programmer or an absolute beginner, learning Python opens up lots of job opportunities to you. Many who likes to have a go with Python programming has this question in their minds. How long does it take to learn Python? As mentioned earlier, Python is relatively user-friendly programming language compared to many other languages available for use. If you are really interested and need to go forward, it is possible to learn the basics over just a few weeks of practicing. Many of short courses take 6 to 8 weeks to complete, with only few hours of learning required each week. There are people who has reached expertise level after 4 to 6 months just by practicing 6 to 8 hours a week. 
Further it has a huge community available, and whenever you get stuck and are in trouble, there is someone out there to help you. So, hope you got a fair idea about Python programming language and why it is so popular among the people in software field, and even out of the field. If you found this video is helpful, please be sure to subscribe the channel. Thank you.